Our objective today um, is to be able to understand reflections of points in the coordinate plane. You can reflect a point in the x-axis, in the y-axis, or in both axes. And as you get uh, a little bit further on in 7th uh, grade and 8th grade, you'll learn that there are other types of reflections as well. Uh, over a line, uh, you can reflect over a, a, you know, lines through equations. So uh, let's get started. The red points are mirror images of each other in the x-axis because the x-coordinates are the same and the y-coordinates are opposite. So let's talk about what that means here. Right? If we look at the red coordinates here, okay, notice that we are the same distance from the x-axis, right? three units from the x-axis here, I'm three units from the x-axis here. Here's my x-axis, it's the horizontal number line. Point one comma three is three units away from the x-axis. Point one comma negative three is also three units from the x-axis. Notice that the x value of the coordinate is the same. The y value is actually its opposite. All right. The red points are three units from the x-axis in opposite directions. The red points represent reflections in the x-axis. The blue points are mirror images of each other in the y-axis because the y-coordinates are the same and the x-coordinates are opposites. All right. So let's take a look at our blue points here. Here's my y-axis. Notice point 4 comma 1 is 4 units away from the y-axis. Point negative 4 comma 1 is also 4 units away from the y-axis but in the opposite direction. Notice the y value is the same. Right? 1 and 1. Y value is the same but the x value is opposite. So when I have a reflection over the x-axis Okay, the x value stays the same, y value is its opposite. When we have a reflection over the y axis, the y value stays the same, x value becomes its opposite, right? And that's essentially the key idea here. Reflecting a point in the coordinate plane to reflect a point in the x axis, use the same x coordinate, right? Because remember, the x coordinate doesn't change, but you use the opposite of the y coordinate. To reflect a point in the y-axis, use the same uh, y-coordinate, but then the opposite of the x-coordinate. All right. And here are some examples. All right. And we'll do some on our own, but let's take a look at the first example here. It says to reflect negative two comma four in the x-axis. So we always start by graphing the point that we're given. So we plot negative two comma four. To plot negative two comma four. We start at the origin, and I go negative 2 in the x direction. I go up 4 in the y direction, and here's my point. To reflect negative 2, 4 in the x-axis, use the same x-coordinate, negative 2. Take the opposite of the y-coordinate. The opposite of 4 is negative 4. So the reflection of 2, 4 in the x-axis would be negative 2, comma negative 4. So here's negative 2, here's negative 4. Right? And that's what you want to see here. Same distance from the x-axis, right? The x-axis is what's called our line of reflection. So negative 2 and negative 4 is 4 units away from our x-axis. 4 units away from our x-axis. So you just want to check that. Look at our second example. I want to reflect negative 3 and negative 1 in the y-axis. So if I reflect in the y-axis, the y value is going to stay the same. So I plot negative 3 comma negative 1. So that's our first example. I plot negative 3 and then negative 1. We put a point. To reflect negative 3, negative 1 in the y-axis, use the same y-coordinate. The y-value is going to stay the same if I'm reflecting in the y-axis. We use the opposite of the x-coordinate. The opposite of negative 3 is 3. So to reflect, so the reflection of negative 3 and negative 1 in the y-axis is going to be positive 3, negative 1. Here's positive 3, negative 1, right? And you should see that mirror image here. It's pretty easy to see that you graph something correctly when you graph a reflection because you can see it's a mirror image. And a mirror image means you take your line of reflection and if you were to fold this paper over the line of reflection, 
this point would completely overlap this point, right? They would connect. Let's try one on our own. Reflect negative 2 and negative 1 in the x-axis, right? Your first step is to plot the point. So I start at the origin. Well, let's label our axes first. x-axis, y-axis. We start at our origin, and I plot negative 2 in the x-axis, negative 1 in the y-axis. We put a point. Right, there's negative 2, negative 1. Now, if we're reflecting in the x-axis, which coordinate stays the same? Right? X-coordinate stays the same. So my x-coordinate, right, if I'm going to reflect in the x-axis, my x-coordinate stays the same. Negative 2 is not going to change. But the y-value becomes its opposite. What's the opposite of negative 1? Positive 1. So the reflection of negative 2 and negative 1 should be negative 2 and positive 1. Let's check it. Negative 2, positive 1, put a point. Right, negative 2, positive 1, and there's my reflected point over the x-axis. Same distance from the x-axis, opposite direction. All right? Try the next one. I want to reflect 3, comma, negative, 3 comma 2 in the y-axis. x-axis y-axis. Well, if I'm reflecting in the y-axis, what value stays the same? Correct, the y value is going to stay the same. So the x value becomes its opposite, and the opposite of 3 is negative 3. The y value stays the same. So that's going to be the uh, my reflected point. But let's plot 3, 2 first. So I start at the origin, go over 3, I go up 2, I put a point going to be 3 comma 2. If I'm reflecting over the y-axis, negative 3 in the x-direction, positive 2 in the y-direction, right? negative 3 comma 2 is going to be the reflected point. And notice, here's my line of reflection, the y-axis. I'm 3 units away from the y-axis here, and I'm 3 units away from the y-axis here. All right? Here's another example. Reflect 2 and negative 3 in the x-axis. x-axis, y-axis. Well, if I'm reflecting in the x-axis, what value stays the same? Correct, the x-value is going to stay the same. The y-value becomes its opposite. So what's the opposite of negative 3? Positive 3, right? So I plot my original point, 2 comma negative 3. So I go over 2 in the x direction, down 3 in the y direction, put a point. There's 2 and negative 3. Then to plot and reflect that point on the x-axis, well, here's my x-axis. Right? I start at the origin, over 2, up 3, put a point, 2, comma 3. So you can see very clearly that... 2 comma 3 is the reflection of 2 comma negative 3. <coughs> it's the same distance from the x-axis, opposite direction. Okay, let's try one more. I want to reflect 4 comma 3 in the y-axis. <coughs> well, start by plotting the point. So I go over 4, up 3, put a point. And then I want the reflection here. Another way to do this is once you plot your point, you find your line of reflection. Well, my line of reflection is the y-axis. And I can just go same distance from the y-axis, but in the opposite direction. And I could put a point. Four units away from my line of reflection. Four units away from the line of reflection. Put a point. All right, And that point's located where? That's at negative 4, comma 3. All right? Does that meet our conditions where if it's reflected in the y-axis, the y-value stays the same? The x-value becomes its opposite? All right? Yes, it does. So, you know, those are that's what your reflections over the x-axis and y-axis look like. All right? One last thing we're going to play around with. We want to be able to reflect a point in both axes. What's that going to look like? Well, if I want to reflect 2 comma 1 
in the x-axis followed by the y-axis I first plot 2 comma 1 so I go over 2 in the x-direction up 2 in the y-direction put a point that's my blue point here it says next reflect it in the x-axis use the same x-coordinate and take the opposite of the y-coordinate so and then that's point 2 comma 1 reflected in the x-axis is 2 comma negative 1 so if I reflect it in the x-axis that's here but then it says I want to reflect that now over the y-axis so if I reflect that over the y-axis what does that mean it means y value is going to stay the same the x value becomes its opposite and you wind up with negative 2 and negative 1 right but notice the steps here you have to go one step at a time you first plot the point then you plot the reflection over the axis all right and then once you plot the reflection over one axis you then have to plot the reflection in the other axis all right and that's what that's going to look like so let's try a couple of examples on our own here okay we have our x-axis we have our y-axis we first start by plotting the point that's step one so step one I want to plot two comma negative two so it's two in the x-direction down two in the y-direction put a point where right, that's two comma negative two we want to reflect that in the x-axis well here's my x-axis well this is my x-axis and I want to reflect it over the x-axis I want to go same distance from the line of reflection which is my x-axis but opposite direction so it's going to be here what's the location of that point two comma two All right now let's check to see if that meets our condition when we have a reflection in the x-axis x value stays the same y value becomes its opposite did the x value stay the same yes did the y value become its opposite yes but now I want to take that re point and reflect it over the y-axis so here's my y-axis that's my line of reflection I want to take this point and reflect it over the y-axis so I go same distance two units opposite direction the location of that point is negative two comma two right, I check to see if it meets the conditions we know when we reflect in the y-axis the y value stays the same x value becomes its opposite all right so this would be the ordered pair that we'd be looking for if I start at 2 comma negative 2 and I first reflect it over the x-axis then I reflect it over the y-axis so it's actually two moves all right one last one and then you guys can get started on your own I want to reflect negative 2 and negative 4 in the x-axis followed by the y-axis right x-axis y-axis let's remember those steps step one plot the point so I have to plot negative 2 and negative 4 so here's negative 2 down 4 All right, I'm gonna put that point here's negative 2 and negative 4 there's step 1 but then I'm gonna reflect that over the x-axis well here's my x-axis I see that I am 4 units away from my x-axis so I simply go 4 units away in the opposite direction location of that point is negative 2 comma 4 let's see if it meets our rules for a reflection in the x-axis x value stays the same y value becomes its opposite all right but now we're asked to reflect that point in the y-axis so here's my y-axis my line of reflection is here so I have to take this point and it's got to come over my line of reflection same distance opposite direction what's the location of that point two in the x-direction four in the y-direction two comma four I check it right reflection in the y-axis means y value is gonna stay the same x value becomes its opposite alright so you're gonna you guys are gonna practice you know each one of these steps on your own All right, I'm gonna give you guys uh, uh, copy of some practice problems right and you guys can work on that in class and then you guys can work on that tonight any questions right go back to the video and take a look at each one of these steps and how we did it right? 
hopefully that's going to be uh, helpful for you guys.